Hey, how's it going? Welcome to Rapid Fire Reaper Tutorials. And I got a little bit of a beef with how Reaper handles freezing tracks. Let me just show you. So I got a project in front of me here. Can you tell just by kind of glancing through the tracks which ones are frozen? Because I personally can't, and this is my project. So if I begin zooming in here, I can see which tracks are MIDI. I can see which tracks are audio. When I get to a frozen track, oh, there it is. In small gray font, you can see that items on a frozen track have a freeze in front of them. So I don't really like this. And freezing is track related so I wish there was a way to show it on the track. What I'm thinking to do is to put a track icon in front of all the tracks I freeze and that way I can identify them in a project. So step one is to find an icon. I'm using this and you can find this on my website and download it if you want to with all the extra downloadables which you'll see in a second what they are. I need to grab that file and you can come to Reaper, go to options, show Reaper resource path in Explorer Finder and once you're here you go to data, track icons and you can put your icon here. You don't actually have to put it here, but this is where all your track icons are, so you might as well do that. And for this next step, surprise, surprise, we need SWS installed. And so if you do, go to extensions and go to resources. And in the resources tab, we're gonna click on this drop down menu here and choose image. Now I have a bunch of images here, maybe you do, maybe you don't, but my first icon is this thing that I just showed you. The way to load this up is right click on an empty name field and you go to load slot and you navigate to that freeze icon and you say open. And now that that's set up, we can set it as an icon for selected tracks and it'll look like this. But of course, I don't wanna manually do this part either, so let's make a few custom actions. I've already made the first one we need, which is to freeze to mono and then set track icon for selected tracks, slot one, because we put that image in slot one. If you have other slots, you know what to do. And then let's make the second one together and you'll figure out the next one yourself. So we'll call it freeze to stereo. You can search in the left field for the actions that you want. So let's make one for stereo. I'll just drag that in. And one more time, we'll find resources, set track icon for selected track slot one. And also choose consolidate undo points so that when you hit undo, it just immediately unfreezes your track. And there's your action. So I'm gonna quickly make the next one as well. Check out the blog as always for more info and I will have all this stuff available for you to download. And I'm also gonna make one for unfreeze tracks. And this time we're gonna remove the track icon from whatever it is that we're unfreezing. And boom, we got those going. So this is a case where I also don't want to now memorize like four hotkeys for these actions. They are fine where they are. I just have to right click on a track and go to render slash freeze tracks and all these four commands are here. So I like the way that works and I'm just gonna replace these with the actions that we created, which is also very easy. You go to options, you go to customize menus and toolbars, and we're gonna select track control panel context. And this is the menu you see when you right click on any track. And I'm just gonna find freeze tracks to mono here, add action, and let's find these four actions that we just made and select them. They will all come here. And I'm just gonna rearrange them. And now I can even come and remove these from my submenu. If this custom at the beginning really bothers you, you can also rename these. And we're gonna hit save. And now whenever I want, I can freeze any track. And the freezing process works exactly as it always does. But I get this neat little icon in front of my track. And that gives me a good visual clue that this track is frozen. And since we went through all this trouble to do this nitpicky thing, let's add one more thing to this. And that is this SWS action, SWS slash NF, toggle render speed, blah, 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 real time, not limited. So this applies to your render speed whenever you render any track or item using these actions right here or any of these three actions right here, but it also applies to your freezing actions. So basically when I just froze this track, it happened offline, but with some plugins, there's always trouble when you render offline. And in order to not keep having to come back to my actions list to toggle this on and off, I'm just gonna put it in the same right click window. Customize menu and toolbars, TCP context, and let's just put it here, shablamps. And this one I will rename just cause big texts make me kind of dizzy. And now when I wanna freeze a track or a bunch of tracks, I can also decide on the spot if I want the render speed to be real time or not. So if I hit this now, these next tracks will now be frozen in real time. But there you go. Hopefully we took a little bit of Reaper and made it just a little bit better. At least this is a lot more legible to me now. None of those long texts. And these actions also put an icon on my thing. If I unfreeze any tracks, it will remove those icons. So that's also nice. 
and this one relevant option that we have is now in the same menu as all our other freezing actions so if you think you're a big procrastinator i'm supposed to be scoring this film <laughs> and these custom actions are really easy to make but i'll also add them to my repository if you want and the link to all of that will be in the description as well and that's it for today i hope you enjoyed this video if you like the work i do you can donate to me through buymeacoffee.com the link to that will be in the description thanks to lucas b for being our most recent donor here are some older videos nobody watches so if you want to check them out i mean they're cool <laughs> and otherwise take care of yourselves i'll see you soon bye